Good afternoon, everybody. It's another Sunday here for the... Uh, for the I was just about to say for the love stitches. <laughs> Sorry. Oi, I'm here too. <laughs> for the Yorkshire Dolly mixtures. So it's nice to see you all again. Um, <laughs> Sunday the 26th of March. All day. All day. And what is it? It's the first day of spring. No, there's something else happening. <gasps> oh, I forgot. No balloons then. <laughs> no, I forgot. Oh, sugar. Oh, never mind. We'll make it up. Yeah, we'll be tell them. Yeah, you but can tell them. It's our first anniversary of starting our floss tube. Can you believe it? A whole year and know. we've not killed each other. <laughs> <laughs> There's time. There is, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> You're going to have to bear with me today because I am full of it again. Yes, so I may be doing more talking than I normally do. God help you. Who, me or them? Them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, cracking um, up. So, hi, Melly. I'm Melly. And we're the Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures. We certainly are. Yeah. We don't have a third um, arm today because she's asleep. Yes. So, but there That's we go. That's asleep. Yeah. So we know us won't be getting tickled. Definitely not. <laughs> so, um, where, where, do, where are we going to start? Because my head's not with it. Will we start with yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday we had our um, first Easter exchange mm -hmm. and it was a success, I must admit it was yes, a success. and there were some lovely pieces stitched. Yeah, but ironically, Ali end oh excuse me, <laughs> Ali end up with mine and I end up Did with Ali's. Like so you get to see our fully finished off pieces. Yeah. So where is it? Oh, it's here. Don't worry. I've not I've not thrown it yet. <laughs> thrown it at the car. Where but it? yeah, there we go. Whoops. There. So Ali made the bigger piece and I made the smaller one. And we happen to get each other's pieces. So that's the first one to go in my um my little your little box yeah. thing. Yeah. And this one's gonna go into my my little three tier um smalls display upstairs in the craft room. Yeah, it's very rustic. It's got bubbies on it. You can it? tell I've never done anything like that before. As in fully finished into a pillar all yeah. that's my first ever attempt. Well you be getting lots of practice practice over the next year really apparently we? yeah because we're going to we had a little conflap with the ladies that were there yesterday and we've decided that we're going to do seasonal exchanges every three months so the next one's going to be a summer exchange and that'll be on the 25th i think or 24th of, uh, the last Saturday in June. Yeah. So whatever that is. Yeah. I've already got ideas in my head. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. But do you like my little bunnies? I do. Do you like the little bums? I do. It took me forever to do them because I'm not very good at knots. But there we go. You can see the little fluffy bums. <laughs> And for those that were thought it was my um, whilst Iris snaps um, finish, it wasn't. They're not the bunnies from whilst Iris snaps. Were they? No. I think they're in here. I think. Ooh. But yeah, no, it's not them. They're bigger. Yeah, I thought they were bigger. Oh, they're not in here. Doi, Doi did the stuffing on this for me yesterday. So, <laughs> thank you, Doi. I don't know what I've done with them. Is that not them poking out? No. At the bottom. Underneath the... No. No. That's something else. 
Anyway, it's not there because no. I did it on different fabric. And whilst Iris snaps, bunnies have got bigger. Actually, all three are different on uh -huh. the wild snaps okay. ones. Uh, so these are three identical little bunnies. They are. And it was um, a freebie I found uh -huh. online. Yeah. So I don't. I couldn't even tell you who who did it. Yeah. And this one was um, it was a waxing moon freebie that I downloaded years ago. Um, cold check of poor bunny. So this is the one that I've been doing my five of five that I couldn't show you because it was <laughs> it was um it was good it was the exchange and um and ironically <laughs> I've been showing I've been sending pictures of it to to Ellie. <laughs> Hasn't she just yeah. I'm cross now, I don't know what I've done with it. But it's definitely not that. Yeah. But yeah. Same but different. It's gonna be okay. So it's well stuffed. Mm, so is mine. Yeah, yeah, both well stuffed. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> who'd, have, who'd, have, who'd have thought it? You can make it up. <laughs> but the, the other um, exchange pieces were lovely. They were, yeah. Yeah, they were really, really um, nice. I wonder if I've got some photographs. Bear with me. Did you take photographs yesterday? I can't remember. No, I didn't take photographs yesterday, but... Come on. Library. Might have come over when people have been sharing them, but it hasn't. Yours has. No. No. No, not to worry. Okay. What we'll do is we'll get the girls to send photographs of them and we can show them next yeah. time. Which well, Adita be... did put hers on uh, Facebook this morning. Oh, did she? She did. did the one that Susie did. Oh, my friend's in the back. Let me just... There we go. Oh, there it is. So this one Adita got and um, Susie actually did it. It's gorgeous. <coughs> it's it's so cute. And the little Easter basket yeah. was handmade by me. It was. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. But as I said, I'm full of it. So you've come over at your peril. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. We also did um, roll the dice. We did. So this and you can work on from April. So throughout April. And it was number nine. So I had to go and chase the dice to, yeah. to find out which what it actually was. That was quite fun. Um, <laughs> um, Caroline is actually up over the next week. Um, she's on the way up, excuse me, and uh, I'm going to get her to show me how to put videos and stuff into mm. to this. She's the expert. Yeah. So she's uh, she's into digital marketing for Cunard, um, so she knows what she's doing. So I need to get her on the ball and show me what I need to do. So you roll the dice for this month was it's number nine and it is Roses oh. of Provence. This oh, for month. this month, sorry. Duh. This month is Might as well show this month's first. Yeah. And then... So this month it is Wind Moon Fairy. And coincidentally it was the the last one for the last year's roll the dice so it's been a bit of slow going it has to be said i can never tell which i think so, it's a fabric i think it is because i mean it's beautiful fabric but i am struggling with it a bit to see the holes sometimes um but i made a bit of progress on it yesterday so um so 
Can you see that? Yeah, just about. You need to put it forward a little bit. So that's all right. Yeah, that's better. Can just about see it. It's all the bit that I'm doing at the moment is all in blues. That's the that's the design. Try and not get the glare on it. There you go. Sorry, I've got it over your face. I don't know. What's new? Yeah, is that better? <laughs> so that's Windmoon Fairy. It's a Dimensions Gold kit, um, which I got. I think it was last year. Yeah, you did. Um, and uh, it was one of those designs that I saw it and I just had to have it. Um, so yeah, I've uh, I've made a start on it. Yeah. So it's I'm trying shiny to. Fabric. Yeah, it's an iridescent and it's winter. Mist, I think it's called. It's nice. Um, and it's by Sparklies. It's 28 count and I think it's Brittany. But with it being a full coverage. I know, but I didn't like the fabric that was in the kit. Okay. Your prerogative. So what what was mine? Mine was Mary three nine five, which I will be going back to later today. Mm -hmm. I'll get some done in my... <coughs> I do apologise. I really am hundred percent at all. You should be sitting with a mask on. Or I should be sitting with a mask on. I haven't I've tested and I haven't got no. that. It's the first thing I did, don't convey to me. Let me just Hold it up a little bit so you can see. Well, that's where we are at the moment. Yep. There we go. We're coming along here now. Yeah, so I work a bit more on that for the rest of the month. Mm -hmm. Because I've done my five of five. Although I don't think I've stuck to five of five, but there we go. No, I know I haven't. Oh. And we do bring I uh, roll the dice pieces into five for five, so it's one of us five projects. Because somebody were asking, we've had a lot of questions this month. Yeah. And my questions, we've had a lot of new subscribers. Aye. Hey, more about that later. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We've got, we've got some fun cues to, to Yeah, do. we have, definitely. Um, so, I will be going on to this tonight. If I'm not in bed asleep. That's how bad I feel. Yeah. So, yeah. So there she is. And then for your next roll of dice, number nine. Number nine is Roses of Provence, which I have failed to bring with me. But for some silly reason, I don't know what the reason but, was, but I need to fall along with you. Oh, sorry. Not that anybody can see it. Mm. Anyway, I have one that we prepared earlier. Yes. So this is what she should look like when she's done. Yeah. But not on this fabric, because this fabric is horrible. It's... Um, it was the cold fall fabric, it wasn't was, it? Yeah. There we go. Do you like mine? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm a, I'm a centre starter, so I have started sort of somewhere around here. I and think that's not centre. Well, I don't know where centre might be there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to get because I only get a tiny little bit. Yeah, done on centre. It. If um, I remember rightly, was about here. I oh, was it. Yeah, because that's where I started. Okay. But uh, yeah. Look at all the beads on her. Yeah, yep. I do more than just samplers. So. And mine is gonna is being done on Misty Morn, which is a sparkly's. Um, I think it's possibly a Britney again. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Um, you see all that Should have got a big book with me. I never do know. Look at all those beads. Yeah, beads are gorgeous. She is. I really need to get everything. Yeah. I think she'll be professional for him. Though. I reckon. 
Yeah, oh, I don't know. Well, are you different with the other two? Yeah, and I don't have to worry too much about it being straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because there's no border. Yeah. So, we'll see. <laughs> but yes, that's what, that's what my roll the dice is for April. Oh, my roll the dice for April. I've forgotten to get her out. I'm really disappointed, but there we go. Uh, not that one. Oh, yes. I can remember you saying yesterday. Do you want to uh, tell them? I can't remember the name of it. Oh, yes, I do. It's um, Hands Across the Sea. Yeah. And it's Jane Fiddy's. Yeah. So. She was the last one to come out last year. That's a funny how that works, isn't yeah. it? So, that's where we are at the moment. I've gone wrong on the eyelets there. So... It's due to lack of con concentration. Mm. So I think I might continue working on the border. Yeah. Um, and then start working up. But yeah, I think it was a, a lack of concentration because I'm normally pretty good. Well, considering the eye looks you've done, in, yeah. especially in Miss Brown. Oh, apparently that starts on the 1st of April. Yeah. Not that I need to do it, but yeah. So there we go. That's the finished product. Um, oh, it's lovely when it's finished, isn't it? It is. So <coughs> I might just carry on with the border for now. Let's see. And it's done in one hundred three. Sorry. It's okay. Um. So yeah. But, uh, There's a cat in there. Oh, that's a dog. It's a dog, yeah, There's not a cat. Tabby cat. Birds. Birds. Lots cows. of birds. There's a stag. Lots of strawberries. Yes. So, yeah, it's very... It's quite busy, isn't it? It's got a lot going on. Yeah. But she will be nice when she's finished. Yeah. Looks like an apple tree as well. So, yeah. But, uh, no, you can't see it. Jane Fiddis, 1835. Yeah. She'll be a bit of an old lady then. You reckon? <laughs> Not as old as I feel at the moment. Mm. So she will be coming in my five of five for April as well. Mm -hmm. um, which is next week. And because we're away at the weekend... I won't take her with me because I will come back someday anyway. Yeah. So yeah. So what what else have you been working on? So I've been doing some of my five and five. Um so I obviously I was working on the checkerboard bunny, trying to get it finished. So I spent most of the first part of the month just getting that finished. Um, and then I very quickly made it up yesterday morning before, before I left for the red line. Because <laughs> every time I tried to do it this week, it's, uh, it's just not happened. So um, I then, when I, once I finished Checkerboard Bunny, I then moved on to Enchanted Mermaid. And I actually made quite a bit of... Oh, you were working on her... Um... Working on the tail on this... Um... On that section there. Yeah. So, look. Oh, yeah. Well done. Yes, it is coming on. So... I finally feel as if I'm getting somewhere with the tail. So... So I'll have her finished this year. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to stay in five or five. Because even just getting five days on it is, I'm getting, I'm moving along with her, so. 
that the five days definitely do work yeah. you don't get burnt out on it whereas if you're working on something for a whole month or monogamously you tend to get burnt out on it and yeah. you don't want to pick it up yeah I, I tend to get bored quite easily when i go to pick up and i think oh god not this again yeah um so when you when you get to the point where you don't actually want to work on it that's when the five and five works because you're able to move on to something else so but now i'm pleased with my progress on that one definitely well done yeah so and she's worked on another sparklies i like my sparklies fabrics we all do um we don't have a lot of dyes in the uk no um and sparklies is her colors are just lovely so this is it's called cancer and it's a 28 count um i can't remember the the fabric but it is put that in there. and the other one that i worked on this month is castle thunder i think it's coming on that's that's the castle thunder by Teresa Wensler. It's such a stunning design. And the more I do on it, the more I love working on it. We saw a stunning Teresa Wensler yesterday. Yeah. And it's nearly finished. What's it called? The Fortunate Traveller. Yeah. Beautiful. Our friend Sandy's been working on it and it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. But look at the fabric. And I've got it. Yeah, you've done well. I feel like you're saying it to me, but it's them that want to see it. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I've done the whole block of boxes along the top um, of the design for the alphabet um, blocks. So that's going to be j to q and then there's a couple of boxes where there's some little flowers in yeah as well either side yeah so um so yeah i'm really pleased with that and it was it was so easy to do basically because it was just i think it was 12 stitches across the top and bottom and mm. 10 down each side and then you had the little bits in there which was six and six so they just and it was just a solid colour as well, so there was no blends. And it was great. I was just able to sit and stitch away on it. And... Oh, good. Yeah. So, I'm re again, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm now wondering why. Because, I mean, my friend Amanda gave me this. Oh, I can't even remember how many years ago. It well, if you probably... think about it, it's that old. Okay. It was in the 90s. Yeah. The telephone number, yeah, area it's, code has only got four digits, and they now have five. five digits, and it cost a grand total of six pound for the chat. Yeah, and the date on there, it's actually got the date on, is nineteen ninety one, and it was definitely the nineties that Amanda and I worked together. Um, so yeah, so I've had it since then, and I wonder why it took me so long. I think I found it quite daunting. I got married in 1991. <laughs> that shows you how old it is. At the grand old age of 21. Yeah. I'm yeah. really pleased with it. Really pleased. I do apologise about that. We've got sirens going off. Oh, it's an ambulance. What is it? Not for us, is it? No, definitely not for us. Not that I'm aware of. Oh. I know I feel like pants, but... Yeah. So I do apologise, you're not getting much banter today. I don't think it's such a banter about. Sorry, <coughs> um, so yeah, so that's all I did on five and five. So I did four out of the five. Um, I've, I've made a decision to retire Cheyenne Winter for a little while. I so you were going to say you've made a decision to retire. I'm thinking, I don't think you can retire, love. No, I can't. Can't afford to retire. But I can afford to retire Cheyenne Winter. Yeah. For a few months to allow me to work on. A few months. Well, a couple of months maybe. 
what you were going to say, a few years. No, I do want to get back to it eventually. Eventually? Yeah. Okay. So what have I been working on? So, um, obviously, my piece. This. Yes. And I do have mirabilia in my stash. And we have red. You've made great inroads on that one, haven't you? I have because I had done quite a lot of it um, and we decided the fabric would just weren't working. Mm -hmm. So we made a restart on it. In fact, we decided that on our very first um, floss tube because you brought it out. Because yeah, but I, then I continued working on that fabric. Did you? Yeah, it wasn't until um, my COVID incident mm. Um, that we decided to change the fabric out, and that's yeah. when I bought this. Well, you, were, you were kind of talking, you weren't very fond of it, of no. the fabric that you were working on. But at this the time, fabric so. is, is it's beautiful. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's a Zweigar and it's, um, it's a printed fabric, so it's plain on one side and patterned on the other. It's upside down. Oh, sorry. There we go. So I have done loads on that. Yeah. So definitely. Um so I can't wait to get her back out actually. Um this is I don't know, let me just right, okay. So that is her arm. So she's holding the cape up and the cape comes right down here. And this is a section of her dress under the cape. I don't know whether you can there we go. Oh, yeah. She's coming along brilliantly. And she looks so much better on this fabric. She really does. I think because there's quite a lot of grey in the dress. Yeah. It brings out, because you've got those... It's like it's a marbles. grey marble. Yeah, it, I think that's what it's called, grey marble. Mm. Um, I actually got it from a... A retailer on eBay. Okay. So I'm really pleased with it and how it looks. So I've just got um fat quarter. But the the only downside is it's fraying like yeah, so Billy you, need to, you need to serge it. Yeah, I definitely need to do something with it. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. So I can't wait to get her back out. I mean, she's been going that long. Um, most of the threads are actually on bobbins. And I don't do bobbins anymore. No. I really don't. We have to get floss drops, don't we? Yeah, we do. So that's that yeah. one. Um, I'm trying to think what else I worked on. So obviously my roll the dice. Oh, I did some um, what's this one? Is it? Yes. I finished my basket. Oh. So I finished the basket on oh yeah. And Tom and started coming down this side. Look, that basket's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. No, really I just can't not. believe how big that motif is. That's just one motif. You could make that into just a, a framed piece on its own. Mm -hmm. Make it into a small, even. Yeah. Little pillow. So, yeah. So, that is Anne Tong Uffendal. Oh, to get that finished good isn't it we need to get those trees done yeah on the other side and i'm using um swigart base uh, cafe au lait and all the called for dmc 
that was a novel. We've just had um, Horse and Cart Pass. Well, I missed it. You missed it, but there was um, obviously collecting metal and it had a car door on it. <laughs> passing with the glass as well. Thinking, okay. Only in Bradford. Yeah. There we go. I remember the days of the Rag and Bone Men. Yeah, I preferred the Rag and Bone Men yeah. rather than the, the... Yeah, you used to, you used to take out a bag of rags, old clothes and, and stuff out to the Rag and Bone Men and you would get a lucky bag. If you were lucky. If we never were... got lucky bags. Oh, we always got lucky bags. I just used to like hearing them. And I always I always got to give the, the horse a carrot as well. Oh, what a I surprise. Get, I get sent downstairs with a carrot for the horse. Sorry, but she's she's animal mad. <laughs> horse mad. Animal mad. Yeah. Like all animals. Well, there's yeah. a couple that I'm not very fond of. So I did that and then I worked on... Um, I was up to last night, I was working on Anne Logan, mm -hmm. which is coming on really well. It's on for you all that, I'll just get yeah. there. And you got that end on last night, because you struggled with that yesterday. I didn't, I got, I got the A done, the H done and the M done. Oh, well. Just like, oops, I don't want the chart. There we go. And I'm using all the called for Weeps Dye Works and it's on 40 count um, Dr. Smith's Tomic that you can't buy anymore, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, so she'll be going back, cat hair, back into, um, and I've just noticed something as well. Well, my needle's not there. Hmm. It could be anywhere. But there we go. Not to worry. <laughs> anyway. That, that reminds me of my missing needle from last Saturday. <laughs> you can tell them. The girls came over to me last Saturday. Um, we had we went for out for lunch last Saturday. We decided just to have a little catch up. Um, so me, Susie, Sandy, and Ellie, we all went out for lunch, and then I said because we wanted to find somewhere to stitch, and I said, well, why don't you come back to mine? Because I've got the room; we can all sit in the same room and stitch. So we did that, um, and um, I had been looking before that for my needle. And I couldn't find it, so I've got another needle and stitching away. So anyway, later on, after the girls had gone, and um, I was just straightening up the... Because I've got a furry cover on the sofa where I sit to stitch. Yeah. And, um, and I just was running my hand over it, and something pricked my hand, and I thought, oh. And I looked, and it was the needle. So, of course, I... Um, I messaged Ellie and I said, I found my needle. And she said, were you sitting on it? And I said, no, you were. <laughs> but it couldn't have hurt her because she didn't know. Yeah, it's a good job, isn't it? Yeah, it was right down into the pile of the, yeah, of the, the covers. So. Even that are in my ass is that big. <laughs> it's well padded. Yeah, very well padded. <laughs> Right then, so what have you got planned for your next five of five? For five of five for the next month, I've not written them into my book yet. I but have. It is going to be. Prepared this month. Right, where are we? I've moved it so I can find it. So that was March. So April will be my Roll the Dice, which is Renaissance Mermaid. No, it's not. It's um, Rose's approval. Do you want a pen to write this in? Yeah, go on then. Thank, Thank you. you. So, first one is going to be Rose Rice. 
and it's going to be Roses of Provence. With the second one will be Enchanted Mermaid. Okay. And the third one will be Castle Templar. The fourth one will be, as I'm not having Cheyenne Winter, I think I may, I'm going to look for something for the summer, the summer exchange, mm -hmm. and so I'll probably do that this afternoon, I'll nip upstairs and have a look, see what I've got upstairs. See if I can get it kitted up and then I can put that in as part of my five and five. And the last one will most likely be the snowman. Okay. So get You're not started. saying that one in gold? No. Right, okay. Or stone. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you? So we've got Jane for this. Mm -hmm. And often dull. Mm -hmm. I want to carry on working on some of that yeah. border. Anne Logan. Uh -huh. A small, uh -huh. which I haven't decided yet, but I would like, I'd actually like to start that. Oh, yes. But it's finding the fabric for it. Mm. So that is nice. I like that one. So I'm, I might bring that as my small because mm -hmm. I like that. And then red. Yeah. So they're all set in stone. Four of mine are. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Sorry. <coughs> Thank you very much. So, yeah, we've got a good plan for the next for the next month anyway. Yeah. Um. Right, thank you. I'm still in shock. Yeah. Carol, mm -hmm. salt box stitcher. Hi. Lovely lady, you know you're welcome in Yorkshire anytime you want to come and visit. <laughs> um we'll um we'll alert the red lion, you're on your way. <laughs> um she gave us such a lovely mention both Ellie's love of stitches and sorry for the love of stitches and collectively as the Yorkshire dog mixtures um, she gave us a fabulous shout out she did thank you and in just a week we have gained over a hundred subscribers which is it's amazing then we had another shout out we did Sweetwater Stitcher. Yes. Jessica. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Yeah. And again, she mentioned both. Yeah. Both of us. Um, so, yeah, it's been a roller coaster of a, a week. Yeah. And it's been one of those when we've been checking, not just every day, but yeah, a few times a day, like we were back in the beginning. When we first started doing this yeah because i remember as i said on uh, um on wednesday when i did because i tend to film for the love of stitches on a wednesday morning before i i start work hopefully i'll feel a lot better this wednesday um but uh i'd said on there that we were less than 600 no less than 650 oh. uh, subscribers at that point mm -hmm. Um, I, I think it was something like six three six. Mm -hmm. I know it, but it won't. A, it would definitely well under six hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. But we'd already gained about seventy five subscribers by then. Yeah. Um, and this morning it's at six eighty. Mm -hmm. And that's just from Wednesday. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're really a bit overwhelmed, really. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's a case of about us. <laughs> people are talking about us, people are actually listening to us. Mm -hmm. And I know my Yorkshire accent can be hard sometimes for some people. Um, but I can see that some people are actually got subtitles on. I don't know how the Yorkshire accent is going to come across <laughs> on subtitles, but there we go. I must try that sometimes. <laughs> don't, please. Don't. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, we're really humbled. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. It's nice. And it's, I mean, the, the stitch from community really, although it's worldwide, it is still fairly a small community, isn't it? Yeah. Although we're, sp we're spread over the entire world. Um, and it's nice to know that there are other stitchers out there who are watching us and liking us and talking about us mm -hmm. to other people. Hopefully in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a it's been quite an exciting week, hasn't it? And it's been. It'd be even better if I didn't feel so yeah, nervous. But yeah. I do apologise. I'm really not myself today. No. Um. I do have some haul. Oh, do you? What a surprise! Well, I've got to keep myself. Yeah, you've got to keep yourself. Up. Up. Yeah. Right. I've got a potential haul. So um I don't know what I've done. Right. I have got some thread. It's I don't it's down there somewhere. Could be anywhere. You know what I'm like. So I've decided for Anne Grimshaw. Mm -hmm. Which oh, Anne Grimshaw, I'm getting excited now. When I was looking for Anne Grimshaw I've not mentioned this on For All Love of Stitches because it was after I'd, I was reading to see how much floss I needed for it. Anyway, she was born just up the road. In Rawdon? In Rawdon. Literally, just up the road, um, about three, four miles away. Mm -hmm. So, um, and my and my husband's favourite um, so like restaurant pub is in Rawdon. Mm -hmm. It's Stone Trough. Yeah. So there we go. So I've decided to do her. Mm -hmm. And I did get a four sort of like um, skeins in Fathom, which is a really, really dark blue. Look at look really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do that with that. So I've got four skeins of that. And then, uh, what have I done with her? You, you know how crap I am. Yeah. Um, I'm Campion. Somebody was actually asking her if you could get her. You can't get her. She was, would you like to explain? What, me? Yeah, you. I don't know. I'm Campion. What about Anne Campion? That she was a retreat exclusive. Oh, was she? Yeah. Oh, was that was that um a retreat? Yeah. Oh right, so she's a hats designer. Yeah. I'm okay. Find it. Oh, somebody's pinched it. Is is that the one with the just the alphabet on? Yeah. Right. Okay. Girl. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm with I can't you. Find it. It's done in black, black. isn't it? Yeah. It was down there because I had it out the other day. Oh. I do apologise. Anyway, I've decided to do in there in 103. Mm -hmm. So I got the one skein of 103 that I needed to do her in. Um, so that's for I'm Campion. Then she actually came on her own. That's Anne Campion. But when I've got my a Fathom thread, you haven't seen this. Oh. And, oh. There she is. There yeah, we go. She didn't look. In my bag. 
So that is with the 103 called for. So just need to pick my fabric for that. But when I got the Fathom um, for, what we call it? Yeah, I got that. Oh, isn't that good? That's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Plus yeah. two prints. Yeah. And it's from um, October House Fibre Arts. And it's called Floss Two Friends. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so cute. Yeah. Which one's me? That one probably. What with all the uh, little hangings? Yes. Little well, like bags, but well, they're I'm not. I'm the smallest one there. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have a fat one. Who's a fat one? I'm not if it's with things. But I th that's me. Yeah. I like that blue dress. Yeah. I like that dress as well. Yeah. But there we go, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I think we should... I think we should do that. Go to Celine. Well, I had some designs, that's why I oh, got right. it from. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Good, isn't it? It's very nice. You mean we should do that like you're doing the peacock one? Which is still in the um the bucket. bucket. But yeah, I, I, I do like that and um it's in classic colour works and weeks dye works but it's converted to DMC as well so oh. I might just do it in DMC. What, what was it? Okay, I think I've got cobbled peach, I've got blue print red, I think. Cocoa, okay, I've got. I think I've got tin roof. I've got grasshopper. I've got whiskey. Um, white roof, I've got. I've got quite a few of them. Most of them are weeks I work for. Mm. Yeah. No, I do like that. I think that is dead cute. It's lovely. Yeah, the peacock. Ellie wants to do the peacock, but I've finished it. <laughs> what Ellie wants. Let me see if I can find it. Because Susie has it. Yeah. Susie's done it and had it framed. Instagram. Where's my Instagram? There. Isn't that stunning? It's a beautiful and on that fabric as well. Yeah. Need to find out from Susie what fabric she used. But yeah, I really do like that. But somebody's got the chart. Yeah, I've got the chart and I've gone wrong somewhere and I can't figure out where. And my friend um Maureen who is what is she on Floss Tube? Is it Maureen Q? Maureen Maureen. Yeah. I can't remember what she is on Floss Tube. Um, she's on you. Instagram as well. Um she was she was down that Maureen. Yes, Stitchy Mac. Stitchy Mac. So it's Stitchy Ma M A Q. Um, 
and she was down in September, wasn't it? It was just before the October retreat. No, oh, that in it. Oh, press the wrong button as usual. <laughs> um, and she sat up in the craft room. Um, and uh, she had a look. So comparing the two, comparing the chart, comparing the stitching, and she couldn't figure out where I'd gone wrong. So I'm really going to have to sit and and work it out, or maybe take it back quite a bit. Um, yeah. So um, I'll just leave it for now and give me a chat. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Because you'd get it done a heck of a lot faster than I will. Um, and then of course there's the that's that's the one I was telling you about. I'm not showing you because it's 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 rude. <laughs> but it's it let's just say Tammy spot on. Um so um oh talking of Tammy and that little challenge that she set us. Hi Tammy. So she has given us warning that she will have had a two, page, two page, page finishes. finishes and the challenge was that every time she had a page finish that we would do five days of 25 minutes a day on pandemic so basically we might as well bring it into the role uh, our five of five for may and june yeah so that's already planned in yeah um so yeah, so I need to figure out where I've gone wrong on pandemic as well. So yeah, um, and I've got a potential um, stash, oh, yeah. which I showed to everybody yesterday. Did you? <laughs> I did, yeah. I was not sure that everybody at the red line, apart from Stuart, because we never saw Stuart. Apparently it wasn't well. No, um, so they were saying. Right, let me see if I can find it. Oh, is this the one yes, that you'd seen on a floss tube? Our alley has really got into floss tube lately. Yeah, I've been watching it a lot recently. And she's not watching floss tube, she's watching tennis. Yeah. Um, so, a lovely lady called Judy, who is the Stitching Bunny, who has just started on Plus Tube. Um, on her very first one, she showed this design. And it's a design by Crocetta Gogo, um, who I think is maybe an Italian designer. She is. Yeah. I checked. And this is it. I hope you can see that without the glare. Let's see if I can move my glass a bit. Uh, it is just absolutely stunning. Can you believe Ali wants to do a sampler? It's just it's everything I like in it. It's got lots of animals for a start. And it's winter rather than Christmas. It does have an alphabet on it, but it's not... In your face. In your face. And it's got a lovely border on it. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. It's stunning. And apparently, it says winter at the top, but you can either have it with the Italian word for winter or the French word for winter. So, it's it just... As I say, I don't buy a lot. Usually, something... I'll look at something and think, yeah, I want that. And this definitely was one that jumped out at me um so yeah so that is is that your treat for payday that's my my payday treat yeah so uh watch this thing <laughs> happy larry <laughs> brilliant yeah. i've got what else to say i don't know sorry oh we're nearly an hour i know I didn't... We... My two books that have just come. Oh yes. Did you move them? Yes. Oh, they're over there. They're over here. So. 
Oh, I've got some fabric as well to try out. Oh yes, that was the one you got on, was it eBay? Yeah. yeah. So it's Swigart Vintage Pink Marvel. <coughs> <coughs> a 32 count Mur Murano. So it's yeah. nice. It's only 12 pound. That's okay. That quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be all right for one of the um, Mirabilias. Uh -huh. I've got plenty. Yeah. So anyway, no, no, no. not worth. Last night, when we have our bi-weekly chat, um, well, Susie had mentioned yesterday um, in the afternoon she got a new book, mm -hmm. and it was a book on socks. And um, so she so, showed us it last night, and I thought, oh, I like that. So I ordered it, and true to form for Amazon, here it is. There we go. 52 weeks of socks. Yes, knitting. I've been knitting since I was six. Yeah, I love too. my knitting, but I haven't done a lot of it lately. But <laughs> some of the socks in here are absolutely oh, like Those are gorgeous, I like them. Yeah. So, so pretty. And as you know, when you go on Amazon, it also recommends other things. I can look at those. They might be brown, but you you can do them in a different colour. Yeah. You don't have to do them in the same colours. Yeah. So you get recommendations for other books. And I thought, ooh. Anybody that knows me knows I like my shawls and my scarves because I used to actually um, make lace shawls to sell on Etsy yep. and this came up 52 <laughs> weeks of scarves <laughs> so and they are really big substantial they heavy are. books yep. they're not cheap they're, they're really yeah and well I made that is gorgeous so yeah so you never know, we might start bringing us knitting in as well. Yeah, she did actually say to me last week, if you're really good, I'll let you show off your crochet. I like this one as well, because I like my lace. I did say that, yeah, you're right. There you go. That's lace. That's pretty. It is. It's, um, it looks it's like more sort of, hair. It's very sort of gossamer, because you can see yeah. right through it, can't you? Yeah, so it's a uh, sixty percent kid mohair, forty percent silk. So yeah, it's a lace. I like lace yarn. I really like his lace. No, that's gorgeous as well. That's I like pretty. That <laughs> so we're not all just stitching. Yeah, we do like we, us, we do uh, we do other crafts as well. If you can make sense of those charts, yeah. they're a good one. Mm. Yeah, I don't understand charts. I oh, prefer yeah. I prefer a written chart. Oh no, and because I, I obviously I used to mm. make yeah. them to sell. And yeah. do you know what would be a really good? You were saying earlier, we, we need to um, start thinking about um, doing. So I like workshops and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, look at that. Um, yeah, so that's something we could start thinking mm -hmm. about. Yeah, and Susie was saying, Susie has started going to, in the same village where we, um, where we go to the Red Lion once a month, um, the, there is a knit and natter group has started up at the library. And there's a, a lady that goes there that dyes her own wool. So that might be interesting to explore. Apparently these floss tubes go there as well. Not us, because we're Not too us. busy working. Yeah. That's why we need to look for different avenues. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah, I'm really pleased with these books. Yeah. I really am. 
So I think that's it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't think we've got anything else. No. Sorry, we're not as usual self. We should be for our first anniversary, but I, know. I just want to go we'll to bed. We'll get the balloons for the next one. <laughs> I really do want to go to bed. I've got to take you home. So, but anyway, I want you all to have a fantastic. Oh, two weeks time is Easter. Yeah, and you're away. I'm away for the weekend, so it might be late Monday. Late Monday. Because bank holiday oh, Monday. Easter, Easter Monday, yeah. I won't be working. On oh, bank holiday Monday? No, I said I won't be working. No, you won't. No, I don't. I've got a whole weekend. I've got a whole four day weekend. Yeah, so and have I. That's why we're going away to Scotland. Yeah. That means I can have four days of crafting and watching tennis because there's nine, to, there's bound to be. Tennis tournament on. Then a fortnight after, I think. Where's my diary gone? I've got one in here. I think. We're away that weekend as well. I think. Mm. Yeah, so was. April. April. April, April, April. So you're away this coming weekend, which is. The first and the second, then Easter. Oh no, we're all right. It's that weekend I've got free. All right, it's the only weekend you've got three, free for April. But we've got the Sunday there, the day after we're up at Coverdale. Yeah, but if we do it on the Monday, uh huh, and then do it on that Sunday. Okay, so right. George's day. Yeah, we can do that then. So we'll sort it. Don't worry. Because yeah. we know we, we, we won't go missing in action. A bit too much to show you and to yeah, tell you. Definitely. Right, I want you all to have a brilliant Stitchy Week. Yes. Um, sorry to our new subscribers, but yeah, I am feeling under the weather, but we're normally a lot better than this. Yeah. So um, I do apologise for that. Please don't let it put you off. Look at us other ones, you'll see how we normally are. Yeah. Um, that is hard to Speak for yourself. <laughs> right, have a good two weeks. Yes. Have a good Easter. Get lots of stitching done. Yeah. Don't eat too much chocolate because it'll Ooh. go on your projects. Chocolate. Oh. Right. We'll see you all later. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.